First at 11, the ACLU is adding to its lawsuit against the state of South Carolina over its redistricting process. The organization says recently passed House maps were illegally gerrymandered. News 13's Manny Martinez has more details tonight on the lawsuit, plus a response from a local state House representative. Manny? Bobinette redistricting is done every 10 years when states get final census numbers, and an attorney working this case for the ACLU says the new House maps in South Carolina don't serve the best interests of all voters in the state. While a house, state house rep says you can rest assured the maps were drawn fairly with careful consideration. The process by which the maps were drawn was anything but straightforward. Attorney Chris Bryant represents the ACLU, who announced this new amendment to an already existing lawsuit against the state via Twitter, challenging the makeup of 28 districts and house maps passed earlier this month. The organization adding online that the maps dilute the voting strength of black voters and undermine the political power of communities of color. The impact of not uh, having districts set up to where voters can elect the candidates of their choice is that the, the candidates who are drawing these lines, the, the politicians who are drawing these lines, are really selecting um, their themselves. Bryant adds that bringing attention to the redistricting process is incredibly important because these maps have a trickle-down effect that seeps into everyday life. A lot of the things that impact people on a daily basis are decided by the races that are decided by the lines that are the result of the redistricting process. State House Rep Case Britton says the redistricting committee listened to concerns from people all across the state and came up with maps that took them into consideration. It's not just something done willy-nilly. Um, we want to make sure that we address all the concerns and issues that our constituents have so that we can represent them fairly. And, and that process was done, not just, not just in Columbia, but across the whole entire state. And the NAACP is joining the ACLU in the lawsuit. As for a timeline, the organizations are waiting for finalization of the state's congressional maps to set a schedule with the state because they are the subject of the original part of the lawsuit. The groups hope to have what they say are constitutionally compliant maps by the end of February. Back to you. Thanks, Manny. Republican leaders point out the new maps didn't make major changes to the ones drawn after the 2010 census, which were approved by judges and federal officials. Lawmakers hope to finish the U.S. House maps when they return for regular session next month.